SMT Nation, we back. We've got two stories to cover here today. I'll go ahead and link these for you in the description. And as always, not just those links, but we're also going to put some chapter markers for you guys so you can jump to and from and in between stories and catch all the things you're looking for. And if you want to, you know, go back and listen to something again, uh, replay it, you can do that as well. All right. The first news is from Comcast and uh, their 5G network that they're building. They've become a wireless carrier now, a legitimate one. Uh, So we'll talk about them and then also some T-Mobile news. So that's what we're doing today. First story, Comcast to use Samsung radios for selective 5G network build. So here's what this means. Comcast is going to deploy a network of small cells. Primarily, that'll be their focus, but it does appear that they'll also probably co-locate on some macro sites as well, so long as they can get the radio gear up up there. Uh, And they're going to utilize Samsung to provide the radio gear. And what this can actually do for Comcast is offload as much of the Verizon traffic, normally would be on the Verizon network, of which they would have to pay Verizon for that usage for their customers. The thing about Comcast, and this goes the same for, uh, you know, for Charter as well with Spectrum Mobile, right? They want to reduce the amount of usage on Verizon so that they can obviously be a much more profitable venture for them. If you look at what they have spent in terms of Spectrum, Comcast owns assets that they can deploy with radio gear and they can build their own network, right? So they spent $1.7 billion for the low band 600 megahertz spectrum. Yes, that would be N71. Uh, They purchased that in 2017. And then they spent a half a billion dollars almost on CBRS spectrum uh, in the auction that took place a couple of years ago. Uh, And both of those would serve as good range and capacity. Uh, It would essentially give them their own network assets, and they don't have to pay Verizon for the customer usage on these connections. So it gives them true coverage, native coverage, and Samsung would be providing the radio gear. So we're talking about like strand mounts. Uh, it's, It's basically these little small cells that basically clip on to existing infrastructure where you guys see like the aerials that are hanging on poles. And, uh, you know, the they, it'd be their own network, uh, and it's all where they have the existing coaxial cable. And they're going to launch the 3.5 gigahertz, so that'll be N48. It'll be 5G, and Samsung does do LTE and 5G uh, in terms of the radio gear. So, you know, they, however they want to do it, if they want to kind of start with LTE and then move towards 5G, it's really up to them. Uh, but deploying their own radios makes a lot of sense building their own network where a bulk of their network traffic will be. That makes a lot of sense. And of course, they can always leverage it as fixed wireless access solutions uh, in places where they maybe don't have the coaxial run to. You know, they could find solutions and gateways and and, and point-to-point stuff that they could do. These strand mounts, folks, are not expensive. (laughs) I mean, these things, you know, with just a few hundred dollars, you get these things just strapped up wherever. You know, and uh, the operator can leverage a lot of these new upgrades with the Doxus 4.0. They're Doxus 4.0 ready, from what I understand, uh, in terms of their, you know, the the Samsung 5G radio. So the backhaul is going to be there. Power is there, right? You, wherever these aerials are, you have power and you have cable. So they can do it. And, and they can create some decent speed. I mean, we're probably talking anywhere of the neighborhood between 200 to maybe five or 600 megabits per second. So they can actually create legitimate capacity. So there will never be a time where these sites are probably going to be congested, unlikely to happen. And, uh, you know, with them owning, I don't know, I think somewhere in the neighborhood of like 20 to 40 megahertz of CBRS. uh, and, And I think they've got like 10 megahertz of the 600. So that gives them some coverage. That gives them some capacity, uh, you know, and this is going to cover pretty much wherever they're native, right, where they have their coaxial. So it's like 150 plus million pops of coverage. So it's a legitimate footprint across the country. Folks, we have ourselves the making of a small network. Now, the the thing about this network is it's not like I, I don't get the sense that there's extreme urgency 
they're you know they're going to be testing through this year, and you know the, we probably won't see a substantial build really catch any type of traction until probably mid to late next year. I don't get the same urgency in Comcast that I do with Charter. I think we're going to see them doing more very quickly. Uh, but be on the lookout, folks. It's coming. You know, you're you're going to be seeing customers spotting and showing speed tests, you know, of, uh, you know, Comcast native coverage. And the Samsung radio gear is good. Uh, I don't know about uh, millimeter wave uh, where you are, but I've been testing it. It's been great. The C-band stuff has been decent. It's gotten better with time, with firmware upgrades and stuff like that. It's not as good as Ericsson or Nokia, in my opinion, but it's decent, and I think it gets better. Uh, but yeah, they, be on the lookout for these things. Um, they're, it's coming. Uh, and then I, I don't know who Spectrum is going to use. I got to maybe talk to my internals and see if I can figure that out. But Comcast to use Samsung, and that's the reason why this is important, folks, is because Samsung is a leader in VRAN and LRAN 5G technologies. That's probably part of the reason why they selected Samsung for this. The other part is probably cost as well. Uh, so we'll see, and, and we'll do some follow-ups, and we'll see if there's any cool things happening down the pipeline there. All right, next story. This one is about T-Mobile. I'll link it in the description as well. T-Mobile's 5G fights fire with Pano AI detection system. Okay, this sounds interesting. This is data from yesterday, time of this recording. Uh, the 2.5 gigahertz licenses that T-Mobile just picked up in the Spectrum Auction 108 are going to go a long way in helping efforts to fight wildfires in many of the rural areas covered by the spectrum. T-Mobile announced its partnership with Pano AI, San Francisco-based disaster preparedness company, deploying 5G-connected cameras for detecting wildfires. Pretty cool stuff here, folks. We got a new 5G use case, detecting fires. The technology allows the utility to monitor, detect wildfires faster, more reliably than any other, or than other methods. According to the SBP, of energy delivery at PGE. Stakes are high when it comes to detecting wildfires. We need to access to breakthrough technologies and reliability connectivity. All right, cool stuff there. All right, so right now they're using 600 megahertz in this usage. Plans to move to 2.5 gigahertz as it's built out because you're going to get better latency. You're going to get better throughput. It makes a lot of sense. Uh, T-Mobile just spent a lot of money uh, you know, to build out this network. Their, their CapEx is way up. They've got to leverage new use cases for it uh you know fighting the fire here just just the use case right the the monitoring and stuff like that outside of that i i don't know if there's really much else to this uh but this is pretty cool and this is nice stuff something worth celebrating i think in a positive for t-mobile hopefully they can maybe leverage this to land some contracts and stuff like that that's pretty interesting uh what do you guys think of this story that's pretty cool uh you guys think there's more like this coming uh, we'll follow it you know we do update it whenever there is some news so uh, comment down below on the t-mobile story fighting fire with their 5g and then comcast building their own network leveraging samsung radio gear and uh, building out their small cell and macro based network interesting stuff indeed uh, comment down below you are the voice of the people the smt nation let your voice be heard like share subscribe for more turn on the bell notification icon to never miss an upload links in the description for my twitter my patreon page and also my Gmail address for all business inquiries down in the description. Thanks for watching. See you all in the next one. Peace.